The short answer to that question, the short answer to how can I make a relationship with a narcissist work is you cannot make it work. That's the short answer. However, there are many people who are able to sustain a relationship with a narcissist long term. Narcs are able to keep long lasting relationships. And I want to be very clear. I want to be very, very clear that when you see or hear that a narcissist has been in a relationship for 15, 20 years, that's not them doing the work. That's their partner deciding, making the choice to stick around, making the choice to make it work. That's not the narcissist putting in any type of effort to make that relationship last. It never is, okay? So those narcs that go around saying, you know, I'm able to sustain a relationship. I was married for 20 years. That person that they were married to went through hell and back to keep that marriage, to keep that relationship going. It was not them doing the work, okay? No relationship with a narcissist is a healthy relationship. No relationship with a narcissist is a functional relationship, okay? There's no way to make it work, but there are ways that you can make this relationship last. Deciding to stay in a relationship with a narcissist will cost you, okay? It will cost you your peace. It will cost you your mental health. So what do you need to do in order to stay with a narcissist, in order to keep a narc by your side? You have to commit to the ultimate forms of self-betrayal. You have to leave behind the person that you used to be before you met this narcissist and become who they want you to be. You're going to have to learn how to put your own needs in the back burner. You're going to have to learn how to cater to the narcissist and forget about your needs and your wants, okay? Because if you want to keep a relationship with a narcissist, you cannot be combative. They're not going to like that, okay? Another thing that you're gonna have to do is that you're gonna have to get used to the roller coaster of emotions. They're gonna make you feel good whenever they f feel like it, okay? They're gonna make you feel happy whenever they find it necessary. You have to get used to the devaluation. You're gonna have to get used to being discarded whenever they feel like it. The ups and the downs, you have to get used to that. You have to get used to dysfunction. Eventually, you will get used to dysfunction. If you're committed to holding on to a narcissist, you will be used to the dysfunction in this relationship, the toxicity in this relationship. Eventually, you will become a zombie. You will be walking around feeling so empty, so down, so sad, and you're just moving on, you know, going around throughout your day, feeling like shit, and that's going to become your life. That will be your life. When you commit yourself to not letting go of a narc, you are going to feel like a zombie. I know I do. I remember every time I went grocery shopping, which by the way, 100% of the times, I went grocery shopping by myself. I did most things by myself. It's a very lonely experience. So you're gonna have to get used to feeling that loneliness. Every now and then, they'll make you feel good here and there, but for the most part, it's a very lonely experience. You will lose all of your joy you will lose all of your happiness. You will feel down. Once you don't have that joy that you used to have, once you don't have that energy, you're not gonna have that energy to go out with friends, to treat your friends the same way. You may even feel a little bit of envy towards those friends and family members who do have happy relationships. That doesn't make you a bad person. It's natural. If you are in a very, very bad emotional state, it's natural to feel like, wow, 
I don't have that happiness. I don't have that joy that I used to have. And look at my friends, look at my cousins, look at my other family members. They have that joy that I no longer have. You're going to have to give up on your joy. You're going to have to give up on your peace. Deciding to stay with a narcissist means you're going to have to betray yourself in order to keep this person in your life. I'm not going to tell you what to do. You're an adult or a young person. You know what you have to do. Is it worth it? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I've never heard a person who stayed with a narcissist long term who had a good story to tell. No one. I heard one person recently on YouTube who's married to a narcissist say that she's happy. Do I believe it? Absolutely not. She looks miserable. I'm not gonna say her name. I'm not gonna put anyone's business out there, but most of you already know who I'm talking about. She may be happy, but I would be lying if I sat here and told you that I believe she's happy married to a narc. As someone who has experienced this type of relationship, and I was so miserable. I was so miserable. I cannot 100% believe that this person is happy in a marriage with a narcissist. I would be lying if I told you that, yes, I believe that she's happy. I believe that there's a possibility that she could be happy. I don't buy it for a second. If you look at her YouTube videos, you can visibly tell that this woman is not happy. I don't know how she does it. It takes a lot of strength. It takes a lot of, I'm not even gonna go into that. I'm not even gonna go in, that's her life. That's why I'm not saying her name. I'm not saying her husband's name. Again, if you have been in a relationship with a narcissist, you know the misery that you went through. I'm not going to speculate. Her husband goes to therapy. He's supposed to be a uh, healing narc, someone who's, you know, aware and trying to change, you know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I hope that she is as happy as she says that she is. I hope that he really is changing and making changes in his life to make his family happier and stable. I, however, don't buy it for a second. I don't think these people have the ability to change. I think it takes a lot of work. I think it takes a lot of determination for a narcissist to make a significant other happy, to make them feel fulfilled in that relationship. I'm not going to say it can never happen, but <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I highly doubt it. I highly doubt that. I highly doubt that a person who's a narcissist can have that connection, that emotional connection to another person. It's not in them. It's not in them. And you can sit in front of a therapist for years, and I don't think that's going to change how you connect with other people. I, it won't be real. Even if they do make those changes, I think they'll make those changes to please their significant other, but they don't know what love is. They, they don't. So it won't come from the heart. It'll be fake. It'll be fake. My ex, the narcissist, used to always tell me, whenever I shared my feelings with him, he would always tell me, that's fake, 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 fake. Your love is fake. And the reason now, I'm understanding it now, the reason why he used to say that my love was fake and my feelings that I shared with him were fake was because he was faking it. He was faking his words. He was faking some of his actions. So because he was faking it, he thought that my love was fake and my expressions of love were fake. And I think for a narcissist who goes to therapy, trying to change, I don't think they'll ever change. I think they'll fake it better. I think they'll do a better job at faking 
their feelings. But ultimately, anyone who's in a relationship with a narcissist will feel that emptiness, will feel that disconnect, no matter how many years they spend in therapy because love, genuine love is not in them. It's not in them. They won't be able to give it because they don't feel it. So if anything, once again, they'll just learn how to fake it better. That's my opinion. Well, that was my video for today. For those of you who are considering staying with a narcissist and making it work with a narcissist, there's a lot that you're gonna have to give up in order to be with this person. It's not worth it. It's not worth it, but you know, you will make your own decisions. You're an adult. I'm not going to tell you what to do, but I hope that this video will help you change your mind about it, okay? I love you guys. Take care. Guard your heart. Don't let anyone mess with your energy. Leave these narcs the hell alone, okay? And go be happy. Go live a happy life without them because you can, okay? Love you guys. I will see you next week. Bye-bye.